Hey everyone. Okay, today's video is going to be over modeling equations. As always, make sure you write down everything that you see on your screen. Your objective, I will be able to model and solve two-step equations through multiple representations. So these are just the three types of models that we are going to use today. We are going to look at a balance, algebra tiles, and cups and chips. So let's start with the balance. So here we actually see a balance and it has different rectangles on it. So a green rectangle, that's gonna be a positive x. A small red rectangle will be a negative one. And a small yellow rectangle would be a positive one. So if I were to create an equation based on what I see, we have five positive x's, which we would write as five x. We have six negative ones, which would be a negative six. And over here, we have four positive ones. Now notice that with this balance, the left and the right side are balanced. So that means five X minus six must be equal to four. So this is what this would look like as the equation. So the first thing we do in an equation is we use an inverse operation to move the constant to the other side. So the inverse of subtracting six would be to add six. So I'm gonna actually use these rectangles to represent that. So I'm gonna add six positives on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna add six positives. All right, so we have added the six positives on the left and the six positives on the right. Now remember, whenever we have a positive one and a negative one, that is actually a zero pair and they cancel each other out. So that means I can take away each zero pair that I see. So now what I'm left with on the left is five X and on the right, I now have 10 positive ones, which would be 10. So the balance is showing us that 5x equals 10. So now what I wanna do, since I'm only left with x's, I wanna figure out how many ones each x can hold. So I'm going to evenly distribute the ones onto each x. So, so far each one can hold one. Let's see if they can all hold two. All right, so each X holds two positive ones. So if I were to focus on one of these X's, I see that one X equals a positive two. Now let's go ahead and check and make sure that's accurate. So if X equals two, then five times two minus six should equal four. We know five times two is 10 and 10 minus six is four the left and right side are equal, so it does check out. Okay, now let's use algebra tiles to represent the exact same equation, five X minus six equals four. And they're gonna work the same way as you saw before. They're the same type of rectangles. So a positive five X, I would put five positive X's Minus six, I would represent with six negatives. And then that equals a positive four. So I would put four positives on the right side. Now again, the first step of solving an equation is to use an inverse operation to move the constant. So the inverse of subtracting six is to add six. So I'm gonna add six positives to the left side and six positives to the right side. Okay, so now that we've added six positives on each side, we see that we have some zero pairs and we know that zero pairs obviously make zero. So we can go ahead and just cancel all of those out. So now we are left with five X on the left and a positive 10 on the right. 
5x equals 10. So now I wanna see how many ones can each x hold? And there are five x's and 10 positives. So I'm just gonna evenly distribute those and I'm gonna pause and do that. Okay, so I took the 10 positives, I split them up among the five x's, so we can see that one x equals a positive two. And we know that's accurate because we have already checked this problem on the previous model. All right, now let's use cups and chips to model the same equation, 5x minus 6 equals 4. I am about to pull up the document camera, but keep in mind you have a key right here in your notes. An upward facing cup is a positive x. A cup that's facing down is a negative x. If you see a yellow counter, that's a positive 1, and a red counter represents a negative 1. Okay, so to represent 5x, I'm going to put 5 cups facing upward. I'm going to scoot those over. So I have 5x minus 6, so that would be 6 negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, on the right side, we know it equals a positive 4, so I'm going to place 4 positives on the right side. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is I want to cancel out all of these chips. So to get rid of 6 negatives, I would want to place 6 positives with them to create 0 pairs. So I'm going to put 6 positives. Now if I do that on the left, I have to do the same thing on the right. So I'm going to add 6 positives to the right side. All right, now all of these zero pairs I can go ahead and cancel out. So I can remove those. So they all make zero. So now I am left with positive 5x and a positive 10. So I want to see how I can split these 10 yellow counters among these five cups. So I'm just going to evenly distribute them. Oops. All right, so as we can see, one cup can hold two chips. So, 1x equals a positive 2. And we know that's correct because we have already checked that. Okay, now it's time for you to try. So, write an equation that represents what the model is trying to show you and then solve for x. Make sure you show all of your work and we will see you next class day.